Hello, Mioni here, and I'm back with another short news video for Final Fantasy XIV, this time to look at what might be obvious to some of you, and most of you to be honest, but perhaps not everyone, and this is the upcoming changes to scripts and elegant tombstones. So patch 5.0 and Shadowbringers will, as this new lodestone post today reiterates, make a few changes to those elegant tombstones in particular. Specifically, they will be removing elegant tombstones of creation, blue crafter scripts, and blue gathering scripts and that they ask all players carrying those currencies to actually exchange them prior to patch 5.0 which releases on June 28th for early access. In addition to this, two brand new tombstones will be added to the game to collect from duties. As usual we always have a lesser type of tombstone and a weekly capped tombstone from the higher end content. They don't actually reveal the names of them just yet so we'll have to wait for that but they do say that obviously Mendacity and Genesis will no longer be obtainable after this patch. Instead, all of the duties that previously had those will now yield poetics instead, as is the usual fare. You can exchange creation at the NPC Oriana in Revenant's Toll, and they ask that people change creation into Poetics before heading into 5.0. As a result of the changes, Poetics will now be obtainable from Trials and Duties all the way up until level 70, as well as your duty roulettes. Crafting and gathering scripts get basically the same attention, and so there will be new gathering and crafting scripts to collect in Shadowbringers. As a result of this, all red crafters or red gathering script rewards will be changed to yellow crafting and yellow gathering scripts as the cost required. From 5.0, you will be able to exchange red crafting and gathering scripts in Revenant's Toll and other locations in the game at script exchanges for the yellow versions as well. And finally, any blue gathering or crafting scripts they reiterate that you have in your character's possession will be removed, so make sure that you exchange those for the red ones before 5.0 or you will lose out on those entirely. And that wraps up this basic lodestone post. This again is fairly usual information and mostly serves as a reminder just to exchange your scripts accordingly if you have any in preparation, which is something I had actually forgotten to do myself up until now, so I will definitely add this to the end of my to-do list which I think I've nearly completed, or at least I think I have. Either way, a link to this lodestone post will be in the description as usual, and I'll see you all next time.